Hi, I'm Jeff Baust. I teach in electronic production and design at Berklee College of Music, and I teach some Pro Tools classes with Berklee Online. In this video, we're gonna have a look at using pitch shifting to uh, widen a vocal and get it to just sit a little bigger in a mix. Let's have a look. In this movie, we're gonna look at a technique for uh, getting your vocals to feel a little bigger in the mix, occupy a little more space. Uh, and this isn't just for vocals, this could be for you know lead and melody instruments and, and that sort of thing. Um, it's a pretty old technique, pretty well known, and uh, uh, works pretty well. It doesn't work for every situation, but it's definitely something to think about trying. Um, so the idea here is that I have this vocal, and by himself he feels like this. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. We're sending him to a bit of verb right now, and that helps. Um, but what I'm going to think about now is sending him to a bus named Duel and picking up that bus in this aux track. And I've got a couple things in this aux track, starting with this plugin, which is called Pitch 2. And the idea here is that what this plugin is going to do is it's going to take this vocal and it's going to pitch it down a couple of cents here in the left channel and up a couple of cents here in the right channel. So it's just going to give me slightly pitch shifted copies of the vocal, one up, one down a bit. And you could go anywhere, you know, up into the 20s or something like that for the amount of pitch uh, change that you want to try. And so the idea is that now I'm going to have three copies of my vocal, my original vocal in the middle and, and the left channel down a few cents and the right channel up a few cents. And I have the send pushed up pretty high here, so it's going to be pretty overdone, just so we can hear it. It feels like this. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? What the hell's going down? Like so, and it's a pretty obvious effect. You know, you might have fun with that as well, um, but we might want to have it be just a little more gentle, a little more subtle. Um, I'm not going to pull the send level down though. What I'm going to do instead is pull down the return level. And the reason why is there, um, the pitch two plugin does do some transient analysis here. And, uh, I, I really don't want it to, uh, keep changing the level of the signal I send to it so that I get consistent results as I'm listening. Uh, but here I'm going to go ahead and just pull down the, uh, return here, the aux track. And now uh, a little more subtlety here. We'll start without, and then we'll add it. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? Like so. So that's a good start. But now I'd like to add to this. What I'd like to do is have a little bit of a delay uh, applied to each of these signals as well. Now I could do it here within the plugin, but I, I'd like to get a little modulation going as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add the mod delay here after the pitch plugin here. I have mod delay set up with just a couple of very short delay times, no feedback, a bit of low pass filtering to take a little brightness out of it, not too bad, like so. And then here you can see I'm modulating the delay times a bit here. So the idea is that in addition to having these uh, uh, two copies of the vocals pitch shifted, they'll also be somewhat delayed in time and that delay will get modulated. So again, I'll start without and then with, and I'm going to bring this guy back up to unity here. So it'll be a little overdone so we can hear it. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? What the hell's going down? And again, it's a big obvious effect, and maybe that's not what you want, but we can pull this aux return down now and just have it all be a little more subtle. And so here it is without. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? What the hell's going down? And then the last thing you might say is that you don't really need to have this happening across the entire frequency spectrum. You might say that you uh, only want to have this apply to upper frequencies and maybe roll off some low end here. And so I'm doing this with a high pass filter. And so now I have, uh, with everything, I have this. I'll start without. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? What the hell's going down? It's just a little bigger. It occupies a little more space in the mix. Let's check it out in context. Start without. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? What the hell's going down? If you want to talk about it. One more time, start without. You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? 
What the hell's going down? And now with... You came home slamming doors, slinging things around. Heaven, won't you help me? What the hell's going down? And then you can do things with this uh, uh, aux track return. You could put it into the same reverb as the uh, vocal itself so that it also gets a little bit of a tail to it. You could do anything else you want as well. You could even automate the return a bit. So maybe in certain parts of the song, you accentuate this effect and other parts of the song, not so much. So lots of options here. So this is a look at uh, doing a little bit of dual pitch shifting here to a lead vocal. Again, pretty well known technique for uh, just getting the vocal to feel a little bigger and occupy a little more size in the mix. <laughs> 